Hello and welcome to the Walkman Habitat. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the best beginner's tape deck you can purchase in 2020. And that would be the Grace Audio Tape to USB 2. This tape deck has pretty basic standard tape deck features like record, pause, and a tape counter. One of the cool features that this unit has though is it's able to record to your computer. It also has a small speaker on the side so you can listen without having it connected to an amp or external speakers but I don't recommend it. You can find these guys although the manufacturer does not make them anymore on eBay for about 30 to 79 dollars used or open box condition. I actually picked up one of these units when after watching one of uh, Westlife's videos on this tape deck. One of the issues he had was this unit has a bit of wow and flutter, which I don't really notice with my unit, although it was running a tad fast when I first got it. I adjusted the speed levels and I can say I'm pretty happy with the sound quality of this unit. It's not mind blowing but it's definitely better than your average Walkman and it's a whole lot better than most of the stuff that you'll find on the market today. I was thinking I'd show you guys a demonstration on how this unit sounds by using Retro Grooves Volume 1 and I'm gonna play the piano sequence so then you can get a better understanding on how much wow and flutter this unit actually has and give me a second while I hook up this cable to my tape I mean my camcorder And now for something more upbeat. And as you can tell from that demonstration, this tape deck doesn't sound half bad. The whole reason why I made this video is to give you guys out there more options when choosing a tape deck or cassette player in general. I know it can be hard out there and I highly recommend this unit because they are new enough where you're not going to need to do any types of repairs on them and have any issues whatsoever because the pinch roller is still going to be soft, it's not going to be hard, the likelihood of the belts being bad is very low and it sounds a lot better than a lot of the cheap stuff that is on the market today even though this unit does look a bit on the cheap side. 
But that's about all I got for you today. Until next time, thanks for watching.